Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another hair tools video. If you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite videos to film. I just love trying out different tools on my hair. So I've had my eye on this for quite some time. It's the Chia Spin and Curl. This was on the Amazon two day sale that they had the Prime Day sale. So I did decide to pick it up. I've actually had it in my cart for probably the last few months, but I've been really hesitant because when you read in the description, it says that it is better for like sh shoulder length hair. However, I was reading some of like the reviews and people saying it worked on their long hair. And if you watch the video they actually have on Amazon Prime where she's showing like the anti-tangle feature, her hair is about the length of mine. It, fall it falls like just about right here, which mine does since I got it cut. So I thought that we would get it and kind of try it out. I didn't like want to read too many reviews because I didn't want it to affect how I felt. You know, sometimes if you'll read some reviews like about makeup or anything, you're just like, and then you'll try it out, you'll feel that way. I don't know why that is, but like I said, I've definitely been there. So I want to try it out. Like I said, I haven't even unboxed it. I thought we would unbox it together and everything. So the black one was the one that was on sale, and it's actually still on sale for $79, which I think is $10 more than what it was on Prime Day. I'm thinking Prime Day was $69, so I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But the max temperature is 410. It says that this is all for all hair types. It's got dual buttons to control curl direction. So usually when I curl my hair with a regular curling iron, I go like up over my head if that makes sense. And then like if I'm using a barrel that's really narrow, what I'll do is I'll usually come in with like a fine tooth comb afterwards like this and brush through. And that kind of gives me more of like that blowout feature. Um, so again, I'm not exactly sure how we'll do this one. I do have second day hair. I like to try all my hair tools on second day hair because I feel like um, that definitely gives it like the best shot, most fair advantage. Because um, my hair, you know, kind of on the second day is a little bit dirtier and I do feel like it holds curl better. So it says the curl setting is 15, 17, 19 seconds, and then it has a one hour auto shut off, dual voltage, and a nine foot swivel cord. So, oh, and you get a free cleaning tool in here. So I was wondering how you clean these, but honestly, does anybody, I don't, I'll be honest, I, I don't think I've ever cleaned a hair tool, except maybe one that like, if I was like touching up my curls, it might've got like hairspray on it from like the day before or something, but all right, so we're going to try it. I did use my typical heat protectant by Redken that I always use. I just really like it. It's always worked for me. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so we do have like an instruction manual in here. At least I'm hoping that's what that is. And this must be the cleaning tool. Okay. Ooh. All right, so this is actually... Sorry, I'm just dropping everything. This is actually really, really heavy. <laughs> I wasn't um, expecting this to be as heavy as it was, but yeah. So right here, if you guys can see, this must be how you pick which one. I'll be honest, I'll probably try both on each side because I don't know with where I hold my hair like that, which way. Okay, yeah, that gets me confused. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this up really quick, and I'll tell you guys how quick it takes the heat up, and then we'll be right back, and we'll give it a try. Okay, so I did plug it up. It does come with a sticker right here, which I just took off, and... It's really, really nice. So you actually have the uh, power button, like where you can change the heat and stuff. I'm not sure what M means. Does that mean manual? I don't know. I definitely need to read. But yeah, so it's just heating up. The uh, uh, numbers are heating up. And then here on this side, it just says this side towards head, which I actually really like that that says that. So it does actually come with instructions right here. So um, like a little uh, small pamphlet that kind of shows you how to do it. So I'm going to do it exactly how this shows on here. So um Choose your desired temperature by using the plus or minus button. Set the timer 15 seconds, 17 seconds, and 19 seconds by pressing the M button and selecting the plus or minus. Okay, so 300. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, whoa, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so you must have to completely let it heat up before you can, like, bring the temperature back down because it just, okay, so we're at 360. It seems a little bit high. I'm going to, okay, so wait a minute. So basically, it has like a little lock right here, and to unlock that, you hit the power button again, and then you just go minus, and it actually shows it like counting down until it gets to the desired temperature. I'm going to do 320, because 360, I could like smell it, and I already smell like it's burning, and I wasn't even using it. And so I'm like, right now, it's set on 15 seconds for like the curl, so I'm just going to go ahead and try that since it's what it was set on. Um, so yeah, it says take about a three-fourths to one-inch section of your hair and insert it in the opening or the curl chamber in a 90-degree angle. Okay, so this this one makes me nervous because, I mean, it's supposed to have like an anti-tangle feature, so I don't know. I'm scared it might just <laughs> jerk off part of my hair. So 
She looks like she's holding it like this. Insert. Okay. Okay, this is like, so just, nope. So this is supposed to be towards my head. Did I do it right? Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like she's, like, putting it down in, like, that's that part. Now, how do I get it to take my hair up? Hold the arrow down in the desired direction, okay? So, I don't know which way I'm going. I'm just going to... Oh, my God. When do I let it go? One, two, three. Is it done? Okay. Does this pull out? I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. So now I'm going to try that again. I might go with the thinner section of hair, maybe. Oh, okay. I was supposed to wait until it beeped. Okay. So that must kind of like hold the curl a little bit longer. Okay, okay. So don't do what I did. But that still looks good, does it not? I think that, that looks really good. So basically you're just sliding it in like this V right here. And then like I'm going to try the other way. Okay, so it's probably not going to look... Ow, 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 okay, no, 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 no. That one hurt. That one hurt. Just, I'm going to hold it in there though. I think maybe that piece of hair was just too short. Is it going to beep? Okay, so this one's probably... Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, so definitely um, that one's a little tangly. So maybe I didn't put enough hair in that that time. Yeah, let me try, let's try that again. And I'm actually going to up the temperature just... A little bit but we're gonna do like 340 because I don't feel like that's like very good so I mean I feel like that's like a pretty good section right there I honestly feel like it's doing really good because where it doesn't get like the very ends of my hair if that makes sense it kind of gives more of like that like beachy wave hair so I think I need to go this way is what I need to do so she's holding it out a little bit from her hair Okay. I don't know, could I let off the button? Okay, so I let off the button after I wrapped it. Yeah, and I think you're just to sit here for 16 seconds and or 15 seconds. Okay, 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 and then you just pull out. So, I mean, I definitely can feel like, since I went up on the heat a little bit, kind of like that burning feeling with my hair, but... I mean, does it look like amazing? No. Could I probably get better curls? I feel like with a regular curling iron, yes. I'm going to try now with just like more of like a one inch section of hair maybe. Just to kind of see how it does. I mean, it's pretty neat. Like the fact that it like wraps it itself I think is really neat. So, um, let's see. Okay. So must, that must have been too much hair, because if you guys seen it, kind of started beeping. Okay, I took it out. What's going on? I took it out. Reset. What's that mean? Oh, shit. What did I do? Okay, so to reset it, you just, like, hold the power button, which I think I actually read, but I just started panicking. <laughs> so, okay. I wish this chair wasn't so squeaky. I've been, oof. Okay. Let's try this again. So I definitely couldn't go in with like a bigger section of hair. And you definitely kind of need to get it like exactly in. It's kind of hard. Like the further I'm getting back, the harder it is to kind of see. Let me see if I can kind of like move my mirror over here to the side. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm screwing up now. So I brushed that back out because it kind of did something weird. I'm not sure why because that's quite a thin piece. So I'm not sure why it's not taking that. Like this one. I, I think it's because like I just can't get in there very good. Maybe, maybe starting like a little bit lower. Okay, so that worked that time. So I, I just come a little bit lower 
onto my head for that one. Okay. And then I guess I just like just pull out. So that's like a really pretty one. I think that is one of those things that takes some getting used to. I definitely don't feel like my curls look the shiniest, to be honest. I really like the regular curling iron I have because I do feel like it gives like a really nice like shininess to each one of my curls. This one just kind of looks like, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm going to brush these out and we'll see how they do. But really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this side. Um, and then I'll quicker do this side. The reason I didn't section off my hair, because in that video, she wasn't sectioning off hers. She was just grabbing pieces. So I might actually section this side off. So let me finish this, and then I'll be back, and we'll do this one. I just want to come back really quick. I've done a few more pieces. Definitely where my hair is, like, you know, like a little bit longer from, like, this back part of my hair. I do have to start down quite a bit lower because it's not getting, like, the bottom part of my hair. And I was trying to like section it off, but I can't really tell a difference in the few that I've done. So what I'm doing is like I'm starting to see about like here. So quite a bit lower. Sorry, it's kind of hard to like show you guys when it's, I don't know if you guys can hear it right now. But it is kind of a little bit harder to get the feather back because it's hard to like get that. Does that make sense? Like the hair through that V and like watch what you're doing. But I mean, like, so far I don't mind it. I could definitely see how this is probably better for people with shorter hair, for sure. But, see, like, that one didn't really do, like, the best. And again, I think it's because, see, like, towards the end it's not getting it at all, which I don't know if I can do that. Let me see if I can... Okay, so I was trying to see if it would just take in... Okay, so you could always do that way. I just stuck, like, the end in there. So we'll kind of see, but my hair is definitely, I can smell it. So, whoa, can you guys see it is kind of burning? Okay, 15 seconds maybe. So see, like, it does that, but, like, I don't know. I just definitely feel like curling your hair with a regular curling iron would probably be a lot easier. I do want to try this side now, um, and then I'll go back and curl a lot of it, just because it is taking me, like, a lot of longer as you guys can see I have a lot of hair left so what I'll do is I'll do like this side and then um, a few of them so I'm guessing then it would be this way would I okay so I'm not I'm not sure because this it gets me confused about how I should hold it so See, so yeah, I do see like maybe this would work a little bit better on shorter hair. It definitely kind of gives you more of like those kind of like Shirley Temple kind of curls. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish my hair, see if I can kind of get it done with this, and then I'll brush these curls out because that's what I would normally do. Um, usually my curls kind of start a little bit higher up though. So yeah, I'm going to finish this so you guys don't have to just sit here watching me struggle, and then I'll be right back and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I have one little small section left on this side as I'm going to show you guys. So I was actually feel like it does better if you take more of like a quarter to a half inch size then like I think that that personally works a lot better um, I have gotten a few like tangles while doing it on this side but as you guys can see I do feel like I'm getting the hang of it and it does work on the length of my hair fine you just on the ends you kind of might have to put them in there to touch up a little bit I did lower the temperature back down to 320 and upped the second to the third setting but yeah, you guys can see, oh, that one didn't do the best. Of course, the last one didn't do the best. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and turn this off now, which I guess I just hold the power button down. Yeah, just hold the power button down. So this is what it looks like. Like, I, again, I'm going to kind of brush this out to show you guys kind of hopefully what it looked like. All right, guys, I thought I was filming and I wasn't, but I did finish this side of the hair and then I went through both sides with this um, wide tooth comb. I will say that the more I use this, the easier it got. However, when I got over to this side, I switched to doing more quarter size to um, like half size um, pieces. I definitely feel like uh, three-fourths to one inch is a little bit too much because that's when I would start getting the most tangles. 
I know that this says this has a tangle feature, but like it does quit twisting if that makes sense after a second when it starts tangling, if that makes any sense. And it leaves your hair when you pull it out. It's like super like crunchy and ratty. So like I don't know how much that really matters when your hair comes out like burnt and crust and like crispy. Um, something else is I feel like when you wear this is so big, when you're trying to get back here towards like the back sections of your hair and try to make sure you get the hair in this V, I found that quite difficult. It was again like very hard for me. I know again with tools like this, the more times you use it and the more times you practice with it, then it's going to get easier. I will say that even with the length of my hair, it did do a good job. I did have to kind of come in and do the ends a few times on like super long pieces. I do feel like with a regular curling iron though, I can do my hair twice as fast. I can get twice as much hair like with each curl, if that makes sense. Like when I'm holding the curling iron like this, I can do a lot more hair. I feel like the curls looked a little bit more bouncier. And when I brush those curls out, I get more of like that beachy kind of like blow like beautiful curls like blow out look if that makes sense and I do prefer that I don't hate how my hair looks but I don't think it looks very shiny like my other curling irons it kind of looks you know a little bit rough um, I'm going to actually see if I can kind of salvage this because I do want to finish like another video but it's definitely not a product that I'm personally going to be reaching for again this does have like four and a half stars I think and it's got like 15,000 reviews and I get it. Like, I feel like this is a neat concept. And again, it might be one of those things that if I use a few more times, I will like it. But it's just the fact that it takes me so long because I have to use such small pieces. And I don't like how there's no, like, shiny aspect to my curls. And they just look flat. I just, like I said, I, I, I wanted to like this. I really did. But this is just, again, something that's not going to work for me. Um... My sister has like shoulder length hair, a little bit longer than shoulder length, so maybe I'll see if she'll let me try it on her. But for me, I think I'm just going to stick to my regular curling irons. Um, I will link this down below if you guys want to check it and try it out yourself. Or if you have tried it out, please let me know what you think about it down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.